All right, this is the latest update for Google Things to do as of July 4th, 2023. So the program has been live for almost two years now. It was launched in the summer of 21. Um, for those that don't know, Google Things to do is the program that um, took over from Reserve with Google. So the Things to do program is free and paid links from Google. So you upload your products to Google and they're linked directly to your website where the transactions happen. So since it launched, early days, it was very focused on attractions. Attractions always have been getting tons of traffic through this. Then tours and experiences rolled out. The last sort of major update was the operator profile. So now you can get your pro product showing up on your Google business profile. And this latest change is probably the biggest yet. So this is this just uh, we noticed this a few weeks ago, but it started to get rolled out. Looks like it's a full rollout now. We've seen it on most accounts and this is on Google.com itself on most search results. So one I just already ran here is New York bus tour. Um, you could try this on your own. You're not always going to get the same um, the same view exactly, but New York bus tour. And then you scroll down this top link actually looks like there's no ads on this. So this is a organic listing. And this new tours and activities carousel is the new part that's come out. So all of these are products submitted by partners, sometimes OTA, sometimes operators directly to Google. So that's the very top search result on this tour. You could try it yourself. Um, you will get different results uh, depending on where you are, but this is on huge search words like Paris tours. So these are the sponsored links at the top. These you pay per click and it comes through the same program, but you, you manage that through your Google ads. It's the same products. And then right below that, you'll see this activities and tours. So these are all free. It looks almost the same. And this is above any standard regular Google ads. And we've seen up to 12 on this. There's only a few right now. So you get in these now on, on major search terms, any city name tours is going to be one of the biggest um search terms in that in that city so let's do san francisco boat tours and this is getting broader and broader these search results <clears throat> so there's a re regular google ad on this one another google ad this one's got businesses get your maps and then it's got your tours and activities again same thing so this is the biggest surface area that we've seen affected um since they launched this program you'll get this sometimes as well this category um so budget friendly so within google when you're submitting products you submit categories and then you click on that and you get this um this sub list of products within that category and this one's got a family friendly as well so this is the first time actually categories have been used we've been submitting this from the start but it's the first time google have used them so this is key real estate on google Try it on your own phone. Usually most of this stuff comes out on phone first, but this is live for me on, or for my team on, on desktop and on mobile. So it's going to get massive search results on, on key search words. So just in general, the way, the way Google works, and I talked about, about this a lot, um, we're going to view slideshow here. So Google in general is, um, it's important that you know how, how it was set up originally. So this is the original Google mission statement to organize the world's information, make it universally accessible and useful. So they started with this in 2000 or 2001, whenever it was. And this is all they focus on. And because they only care about the user, they just look at user clicks and is the user getting to what they're looking for as quickly as possible. That's all they care about. Because they've done that on day one, they've worked out they can then put advertising on that same page on that same page and get paid a few trillion dollars for doing it so they've always been focused on this they always will be focused on this so in general i, I talk a lot about different surfaces and where these products are appearing within google and where they're not appearing you'll get different results each time if you switch your login emails maybe you've got different gmail accounts you'll get different results if you search from a different geo location you'll get different results different language, different results. So it's really difficult to sort of pick exactly what your search results, search results are gonna look like. So what we always recommend is you just do the right things. And doing the right things is giving Google the information that they want. 
and giving Google the information they want is only so they can give it to the user. So all you're doing is you're delivering the user, your guest, your future potential guest, the information that they want. So they've got questions about your product. They want to know what time it starts, where it starts from, what it includes. They want to see nice images. It's all the usual stuff. You give them that and you submit your products properly to Google, they'll show up. Not guaranteed every time there's lots of competition still, but do the right things and you'll win in the long term. <clears throat> Google Travel, I'm going to run through this rest of this really quickly. Google Travel is just a part of Google.com. So Google decided that within Google search results, there's different intent. And depending on the intent, they'll show different formats of results. One of those things is Google Shopping. So if you search for a product on Google, you'll get very different search results. You get lots of images. You'll get products featured instead of websites. It'll look quite different to Google.com. Google Travel, another one of those. There's definitely intent on a lot of searches. If I'm searching the classic things to do in New York, that's a travel search. That's when these kind of products show up. So it's just part of Google.com, but they do treat certain results differently. doesn't mean the whole search engine results page is going to change, but they'll start putting other pieces in that you wouldn't normally see on different searches. Google Travel also includes flight, hotels, vacation rentals, things to do, and transport. It's all starting to come together and look the same now, which is the reason I believe this is for the long term now. They've played around with lots of different ways to do this. Google no longer does transactions on Google.com. The transactions all happen on the supplier website, whether that's an airline, a hotel, a vacation rental, or things to do. The transaction happens on your website. You take the credit card or on an OTA website if that's where the link goes. So it's free listings and it's ads campaign. The, the carousel I just showed you, that usually ends up on the top, and it's on the top for major search terms like Seattle tours, New York tours, and category searches like bus tours, boat tours, walking tour experiences, that sort of thing. But there's also tons of free product listings available, like I just showed you. Um, so there's no reason not to do this. The ads part is optional. Um, these are the surfaces. I'm going to go through this really quickly. Like I said, it doesn't matter that these match exactly what you're going to see, but these are the kind of searches that are pulling up things to do searches search results. So points of interest, you can search for Eiffel Tower, London Eye, and you'll get a list of tickets to those attractions. They just changed this. Let me just switch out. They just changed the, um, the result page on this. Let's do Eiffel Tower, see what it looks like. They're always testing this stuff. Um, so they, they change the terms, they change the areas. This is sponsored again above here. This is the carousel, which you pay not very much, but you pay for those clicks. And then there's a ticket section here. And usually you'll get a big button that says tickets. On this one, it's just doing the little, little tab. And then these are Eiffel Tower tickets. So you scroll down and these are all operators or OTAs that sell tickets to the Eiffel Tower. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the times you'll see now a big blue button that says tickets. And then down here are tours. So these are not tickets to the Eiffel Tower. These are, these are experiences or tours that may or that do include entrance to the Eiffel Tower. So this is for tour companies, this section down here. Anyway, I digress. So that's the admissions section for a point of interest search. The experiences section, the one I just showed you there, is below the ticket section. Any tour that includes the Eiffel Tower, points of interest can also include free points of interest, like a park, like Central Park in New York is a point of interest. If you've got a walking tour that goes through Central Park, you add that as a point of interest, your product will show up under that section, can show up under that section. A lot of competition, obviously, for things like Central Park. You search for things to do in previously this was just bringing up the carousel now like i showed you before it's bringing up free search to free um, results as well um this is the one that just changed chicago tours san francisco bus tours paris walking tours etc they're going to bring up the carousel usually the paid one and then the free one underneath that and then this is the last change the last major change uh, about six months ago this is the Google business profile. So if you search your company name 
on google.com or on maps you'll get your google business profile like here on the right and then this is the booking module so it's called booking options these are the products which will show up to 10 products under your business profile again these links go directly to your website if you don't participate in this most likely an OTA already is so if you type in right now your google business profile and see what shows underneath if you hit prices they'll show directly underneath um your product should be on there if they're not and an OTA's product is on there it's fine your product is still getting sold but obviously you're paying that OTA commission and you could be getting that business directly without paying anything Google Maps, lots of surfaces on Google Maps. The business profile is showing, the point of interest is showing, experiences are showing. Google Maps more than doubles the traffic, depending on the search term, more than doubles the traffic from Google.com. I think everyone knows Google Maps is a huge app and it's becoming increasingly important as well. And the last part is there's a, there's a section of Google Travel called Google.com slash travel. And that's where you can search for things to do. It's kind of a, a subsite of Google. Most people don't know about it, but your products will also show up in that. Types of listings, there's a few now. There's this admission section, a list of admissions. And then there's the experiences view, which are these cards, which can either show up um, sort of four or six or eight at a time, or they can now show up on the carousel that I just showed you. On mobile, when you click on one of these, you'll get this kind of full product modal that shows up on, on the screen which looks like an OTA product listing. And it's gonna have all your description, highlights, inclusions, exclusions on it. And you click that visit site here at the bottom, it's gonna go again directly to your website. And that's where the transaction will happen. Google's not charging anything for that. And then the last uh, view is the ads carousel. It's the same product that you're already submitting to Google to be on the free listings. It's just that we, well, as, as Magpie, we add your Google Ads ID to an, to an approved list, and then you can set up ads within your Google Ads account. And you choose to spend, you choose, there's a few options, there's not a ton of options. Just to let everyone know, the, the ads are really inexpensive, um, but they're not getting as high a conversion as you would on normal Google Ads. But you, we're talking pennies, US pennies for each click. Um, but like I say, you're not, you're not, there's no free lunch, so they're, they're not getting the same conversion that you would on a two or three dollar a click Google ad, but tons of exposure. And all the OTAs, most of the OTAs are doing this already. Um, already connected, most of the OTAs, you'll see their listings everywhere. And how to connect to Google partners. Some res techs are connected, not all connections are equal. I've said this now out loud in public, most res techs are doing a horrible job of these connections. And um, we, we see a lot of customers from these res techs who are just not getting any results from the connections. Um, we're not sure status of living, it's under chapter 11 right now. So the independence for Magpie and living, we're gonna see what happens to living um, in the future. But Magpie, we can connect anybody at any time doesn't matter which res tech you use. You just need a website and you need to conduct bookings on your website. You need to have the transaction happen on your website. Um, setting your product up. I'll go through this quickly. Uh, Google things to do here. This is a demo account. We've got 22 live products on this account. Um, these, are the, these are the products we have. So let's go into edit uh, one day, hop on a path. Um, go over here because I want to edit my Google listing, not my regular product. So I go into my one day hop on a puff. And Google things to do There's five steps. Product name, I can use the same product name I store in Magpie, I can change the name for Google if I want. Product landing, this is the this is the product page of your website. This is where Google's going to send traffic. If you like, you can add a tracking link to the end here. Uh, so you can track it in your Google Analytics. You need at least one option, which is often the same as the product, but you can have more than one option. And you need one price, which is the adult price. That price has to be available on your website. Um, there's a bigger discussion around price, but make sure that's accurate, inclusive of 
fees, taxes, everything. It's the final price the customer will pay. You add your Google business profile here. So this is important that you match this exactly. So you start typing and you find your Google business profile. This is ours here. We're going to save that. That then matches your products with your Google business profile. So they show up in the right place. You can add your points of interest, all the places your tour includes, um, including admission, if you include admissions. You add some descriptions, reviews. If you're showing reviews on your product page, you can add them here. Google will show them. A couple of settings. Add some images, at least one image. Some categories, which I just showed you, are now, are now important. They're showing up in the right categories on the front end, and then you are done. That will get approved within a few hours. Google will then usually approve it. Most of these products go live within a few hours. Usually the first one takes about 24 hours. That's all you need to do to get your products live. Um, we have thousands of uh, products that we submit through Magpie. Um, we're getting tons and tons of traffic. Not for every product, not for every location, but we're getting tons of traffic for our customers. Um, that's about it. Um, I'm not going to go through the full setup on here. There's things that you should think about. Having great images, having great content, having accurate content is really important. Google doesn't want people to click on your product and then go back to search results. That's the bad sign. Just think of it as SEO. Do the right things. Give the information that you think the customer wants to see. And you'll end up surfacing in the right place. That's all for now. Setup is really easy. Everyone should be doing this. The OTAs are already doing this, either with your products or with your competitor products. So the traffic's already there. The traffic's going to you or to your competitors in your destination. It's just that if you're not direct, you're paying 25 or 30 percent, or you're paying 100 percent because your competitor is doing it. So we're happy to uh, jump on a call. Help you guys get started. Uh, reach out on LinkedIn on Magpie.travel or any place you can find us. And thanks for listening. That's all for today.